Hi, it's Alexandra from the Middle Sized Garden here. I'm at Copton Ash Plant Nursery near Faversham, where I'm finding out how to grow snowdrops. Copton Ash's Tim Ingram says that snowdrops need a bit of patience. They like to be planted where they won't be disturbed and they may take a few years to put on a good show. One of the best places to plant snowdrops is at the base of tree trees and shrubs. The snowdrops will give you something pretty to look at in the early spring. And once the trees are in full leaf, you'll be unlikely to grow any other plants there. Trees and shrubs also take up quite a lot of water from the soil and snowdrops do like a drier soil. So what do you plant with snowdrops? Anything that also disappears by midsummer makes a great combination. For example, the variegated heart-shaped leaves of cyclamen make a lovely contrast. Hellebores or Christmas roses are out at the same time as snowdrops and their showy blooms contrast beautifully with the simplicity of snowdrops. Arum lily is another graceful variegated leaf which just vanishes by midsummer and it's another good foil. And aconites carpet the woods in spring and then vanish underground so they look particularly beautiful at this time of year. And finally, there's Anthriscus ravenswing, or black cow parsley, beloved of garden designers. Its dark frondy leaves make another fantastic co contrast to snowdrops. There are thousands of different types of snowdrops, and you can get obsessed by the delightful differences between a slim flower and a plump globe, or by the different markings on the petals. Just check a bit about them when you're buying. If, for example, you want a snowdrop spreads easily, some cultivars spread better than others. And finally, snowdrops even look great in pots. There are links to Copton Ash and more about snowdrops in the description below, and do check out the other films in the Middle Sized Garden's Winter Garden playlist. Thank you for watching, and do subscribe to the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel, or join us on the blog every Sunday morning. Thank you. Bye.